What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there, it's Philip 20. And I'm back. Check it out. What we've got here today is the Ames inverter. This is, uh, this is a pure sine wave seller inverter. This uh, actually has a charge controller inside. It's got two coils that are gigantic. I mean, look at my fist. Look, I mean, my fist. It is bigger than the, the, the it is huge. So you got two of those. Uh, this thing uses a lot of power. Um, and we got the sine wave up here. Let's do an auto scale real quick. And we're gonna look at the frequency down here. And it says 40,000 Hertz. So let's, uh, let's go with 200,000. All right, so the difference between this one and the magnum inverter is you can see it actually looks cleaner, but let's take a closer look at how clean it really is. Holy crap, look at all those pulses right there. Let's zoom back out. You can see them. It is just a crazy amount of pulses. And you can see just sawtooth in all your equipment. The uh, Magnum went like this. It was way cleaner with uh, what you've seen. And also you got a radio frequency coming off of one of the, uh, the, the first circuit. I don't know about the second circuit. We could take a look at that maybe, possibly. So the, the first circuit for this is technically... Uh, one of the outputs. Now this is inverting uh, 24 volts from my battery bank into this sucker right here. Um, it is just, this is a huge power consumption device. It's, it's pretty loud. It continuously runs a fan through it. And you know, I don't know if you can hear it. So I mean, you hear the fan mostly, which it's fine, you know, if you're not in the same room. But if you're doing stuff like, you know, YouTube, whatever, you know, this is always an interruption. The Magnum, it's over there, it's silent, and it's even running miners. It's silent and it's running miners. It is crazy why this thing is so loud. Don't understand it. But the sawtooth of this thing is crazy. I mean, if you take a look at it, that is wild. That is a wild sawtooth. Uh, it doesn't have the same little spike as the uh, Magnum. And you can see that the voltage is not stable. Out of all the inverters I've seen here on this... Uh, oscilloscope the voltages will stable they're not bouncing if you see this it's actually you know bouncing back and forth back and forth back and forth which is uh, you know terrible so uh, you can also see these spikes I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this up and make it a little so what you're looking at here is uh, the electrical uh, frequency signal with in uh, uh, they're, they're not supposed to be like that. It should be a nice flat line. You'll see some on the left because that's the 60 hertz with, you know, stuff like that. But if you look to the right, moving to the right, you know, it's like, you know, bam, spikes. And then bam, let's, let's see where those are actually at. That one's at 
0.5 kilohertz ish, probably 19 kilohertz. 38 kilohertz, 37.5 ish. And then 57 kilohertz, 76 kilohertz, 95 uh, kilohertz. 115 kilohertz, 134 kilohertz, hundred fifty three, hundred seventy three. So you can see how it's it's bouncing back down from the frequency. Uh, it's it's like the harmonic, you know, the frequency up and down. So that tends to show that there's a problem with this design or the inverter itself, I would go ahead and say that the inverter actually has a problem because it won't function easily at 60 hertz, right? And most inverters today, they just run at 60 hertz and it's, it's supposed to run at 60 hertz for America. So, you know, this is a split sine wave inverter. It runs 110 volts out of two different circuits. And if you look, you know, again, You've got 110 volts on one circuit and 240 volts, you know, and it just, it just doesn't seem like to me that this is a really good uh, wave pattern. I used this inverter for about two months. I didn't use it heavily. This is a 6,000 watt, 18,000 watt surge inverter. And I mean, it's just not that great. This inverter has a really crappy sine wave when you zoom in and actually look at it, it is really, really distorted once you get down and start looking closer at it. Uh, you can see where it crosses. It, it's not perfect right there. I mean, if you zoom out, it looks flawless, right? You know, it looks great. But if you zoom in like we did with the Ames, no, like we did with the Magnum, the Magnum was nice and flow. It was nice and smooth, just like the grid power, but this one's not like that. This one, you can see the modula modulation back and forth. You can see it's not uh, not a stable voltage. And you can see that here, it's bouncing up and down. So this inverter is probably not the best inverter to get. Let's say, you know, if I knew then what I know now, I would have never picked up this inverter from the beginning uh, because first it uses 218 watts to be on. The Magnum uses 50 watts to be on. That, that's continuous. Now, if it's in standby mode, this thing uses like, you know, 40 watts or something or 30 watts. Uh, you know, let's check the standby mode and see what it looks like. Let's uh, see what the standby mode looks like real quick. Now, as you can see, we've got that spike and it looks to me like it's actually like a resistive direct current load. You can see it spikes both in the same direction with positive electricity instead of like positive and negative. But that's, that's kind of what it appears like. Let's uh, see if we can center up. So that is centered. So, you know, both of them, you can see it jumps up really high for the uh, test load. This is the uh, standby save energy load. And uh, this is what it looks like when it's on its uh, save energy, save power mode. So it turns on for uh, a very short period of time. If we zoom in, and so if it goes from there, so it lasts for about. 10 milliseconds or so. So it jumps power and then it 
jumps power again. You can see it actually really has some interesting waves coming up. But this is just a quick view of the Ames and Verdrum showing you guys this because, hey, you, you know, got to keep the content coming. Um, you guys like, subscribe, share, and comment in the comment section below. Please, uh, you know, if you guys want to see more videos like this, come watch. And you know, there's more coming. We'll see you next time. Peace out. Hello lazy to get gentlemen. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming click the subscribe button below Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace